Let's look at half-life again. So if you don't recall the equation, I have some amount, and every time period we call the half-life, I end up with half of what I started with. So if we consider caffeine, for example, caffeine is a half-life for me of about five hours. So every five hours, I have half of what I started with. So I start off with 100 milligrams, five hours later, I have 50 milligrams. After a total of 10 hours, it's half of that, which is 25 milligrams and so on. So that's an exponential decrease over time. So I could also look at this using the percent rate of change version of an exponential equation. So starting amount times one minus that percent change to the power t. So t is still hours here, same starting amount, but r here is the hourly uh, rate of change. So hourly percent decrease. I want to know what that is if the half-life is five hours. So that gives me one half as the base, right, to the power of one fifth, one over that half, or t over that half-life, t over five. Now the starting amount is the same in both of these, so I can divide that out. So on the other side, I really only need to consider one minus r to the power t. And I'm looking for the hourly percent decrease because t is an hour, so I might as well simplify this and let t equal one. So then I get one half to the power one fifth. And on the other side, the power one means just keep the base and the base is just one minus r. So here, I think I'm ready to just whip out my calculator because the answer will be mostly apparent at that point. So it's a complicated base, so it needs parentheses. One over two, one half is the base, close the parentheses. Then we have to raise it to a power and the power is complicated, so it needs parentheses too, and that would be one over five. And on some calculators, if you don't put the parentheses around that power, then the divide by five won't end up in the power and that's a problem. All right, 0 0.87055, blah, blah, blah. I'm just gonna go with the 0.87 part some problems you might need more decimals of accuracy. So I calculated that one half to the one fifth is about 0 0.87. And when I look at this right here, 0 0.87 equals one minus something, I can pretty much see what I would subtract from one to get 0 0.87. And I'm just gonna guess that R is 0 0.13. So if I take 13% away from 100%, that leaves me 87%. If you're not clear about that, we could add the R to the right and we could subtract the 0 0.87, the 87 hundredths to the left, switch your left and right. And yeah, I can see that subtraction right there is gonna give me the 0.13. You can always double check that on a calculator. Hey, we got a calculator, let's double check. And one cool thing about most calculators is I don't have to retype that number because I can just do one minus that previous answer and I get uh, 0 0.12944, which I rounded to 0.13 because above I rounded to 0.87. So if you need more decimal places, there they are. So here we can see that if the half-life is five hours for some substance, then the hourly rate of decrease is about 13%. Cool.